guys, welcome back to Glory Hunter episode 34 now. And since last time, I'll just pick up before we get into the game. We've had a bit of a, a rocky, little bit of a rocky road. Um, Siri, the Serie A is going very, very well. 3-0 in, um, in the game against Empoli. Uh, I don't think I bought... Did I bring in that game? No, I did, I did bring in that game. In fact, we, we lost to Bayer Leverkusen. That was the game there where it was. It was a pretty um, upsetting game, really. We did get absolutely uh, dominated, as you can see here. Um, didn't, didn't play too well. We both had clear-cut chances. I did play the five at the back because we were away from home. I, I'm not really liking the five at the back with how the wing-backs aren't really that great stamina-wise. Um, so I'm, I'm changing that up. And then against Sampdoria, Pinamonti getting the goal that we most... Well, we desperately needed, if anything. The stats-wise, we played pretty well. We only had the only clear-cut chance of the game. Uh, Saka and Lo had a very good game as well as Pinamonti. Uh, and then in defence, we played pretty well as well. But Sampdoria didn't really pose any threat throughout that. So, I have decided to bring you the AS Roma game and the Bayer Leverkusen game. I'm going to skip over... Um, in fact, no, I won't do. I'll, I'll skip over the Galatasaray game in the next one. In fact, I might just bring you three episodes in a row here because then throughout this, I've got a final there which will be a single episode, but this here, this chunk is very boring. Um, so yeah, I'll, just to keep you, keep you going with these episodes, I'm going to bring you these six games in a row here. I might even do three, depending on how these games go, I might do a triple, up, triple get episode, triple episode, see how it goes. So I will try and cut these down, if so. Um, going into the Roma game though, Syria, this is going to be quite an important one. I've, I've sort of changed up the style of play here, so we're playing a four, uh, in fact we're at home. I'm going to go, we're going to go a bit more attacking here, in fact. I'm going to play Insigne on this left hand side, just because I like him in there. Um, La Celso has been playing pretty well, so has Fabian at the moment. The cock's not really been that great a sign. I know he's, only, he's still only 17, but and he's he's improving pretty pretty well at the moment. But he's not been outstanding for me so far. Uh, someone that needs to improve quite a bit. Um, get the goalkeeper back in because he was uh, uh, ineligible. Sorry, and then I think we're going to just roll out with this side. So Gulam as ever, uh, Kulabali, Manlas, and in fact I'm going to play them as full backs because I prefer them as full backs to be honest with you. Gulam, Koulibaly, Manalas and Guga, uh, Lo Celso and Fabian in the middle, Insigne and Saka on the left and right, and then swapping these two round because that's how I prefer them, Pinamonti and Insigne. We're going to hit it a bit more positive, we are playing a slow tempo, but we are at home. It's against AS Roma, they're very lethal from this right-hand side from uh, Sergius Under, I think his name is. Um, so we're going to have to close down that threat, yeah, Sergius Under, that's the one. Other than that, they're not looking incredibly strong, they've got Mendy and Florenzi who are very, very good. Um, these two in the middle are not very sure, and Pellegrini is a very good player as well, I know, for sure. But other than that, um, go out there and give the fans their money's worth. And just before I do that, the opposition, I am going to just close down Sergis Under as much as I can. He is probably the most lethal of the lot. So, kicking off, we're going to get straight into it. Um, I don't want to drag this episode too long at all, because... Obviously, I'm going to bring you quite a few episodes um, in the next few days. So, we're kicking off. We're looking pretty good so far. Not looking too bad at all. 16 minutes gone. Not too shabby. But, they are looking to come forward themselves. As Mendy plays the throw in into Zaniolo, who finds Riccardi on the edge of the box. It looks like he might have a shot here. Finds Florenzi on this right-hand side, and we now look to counter as Insigne brings the ball forward. We know he can accelerate, but he's not the fastest of players. He finds Immobile. Can he get in behind there? He, ca he just can't sneak it in at that front post. Very big chance for us there. Probably the first big chance of the game so far. Pellegrini taking the ball forward. Zaniolo has a long shot. And that just goes over the bar. There, so they're coming forward a bit now, looking a bit threatening. We are going to demand. I'm going to demand a bit more from the players here. We need to. We need to see a bit, bit more from them. Insigne is looking very, very unfit at the moment. Might have to bring him on at, off at half time as well as Lo Celso picking up a knock. Can't really risk them getting injured because we are the depth of the squad's not very, very deep. As Merritt makes a great save there, brilliant save by Merritt. I didn't see Juventus and Inter Milan sort of running away with the league as well in the meantime. As they get the ball clear there, there's no one to pick it up. Immobile doesn't really want to run and get that. 
Sergis under on the ball now. They're still playing it round in the midfield. But we've come away from that highlight and it looks like we're going to go into a half time here. Um, sort of the weaker side, if anything. We're not looking as strong as I thought we would. We're not looking very good at all. I'm going to have to get a bit aggressive. I think I'm far from pleased with what I saw. Tactics wise, I am going to have to take off La Celso. I don't want to risk. Is it anything bad? Potential foot injury. Um, that's just going to get worse as it goes along. I'm going to bring on Vargas just for now. And in it, La Celso I'll probably take off after a few minutes just to make, make sure he's looking all right. Balance, I'm going to stick back to balanced actually. And I am going to play a lot wider and look for this overlap. Um, I want us to run at the defence as well. We don't really run that much at the defence. Uh, Saka's probably the strongest of the two to do that. Gulan with the corner now. It's into the immobile at the back post and it's just cleared out. The Celso picks it up on the edge of the box though. To Koulibaly and possibly another cross in here if Gulan can find one. He does and it just comes out to the edge of the box. No one's there to pick it up though. And now Roma look to come forward. I don't know if they'll find anything from this. As Vargas now picks it up, he's a fresh player. Pinamonte on this left-hand side. Can he find the cross in? Or maybe to the edge of the box. He takes on, on his man. Immobile's there. Fabian's there. And it's just wide. Ooh, close there, close. We're looking at, we're looking a bit more in control of the game now, which is something I'm, I'm, I'm trying to base the philosophy around at Napoli. It's just controlling the game, controlling the tempo of the game, having the ball in, at our feet. As Mendy comes forward down this left-hand side, we're pretty weak to these wide players. As we find a good cross in and Sergis under. The man that I wanted to mark has managed to find a goal for them there. We're going to have to go attacking here now. Demand more from the lads. The one player, the one player that I didn't want to be like that threat in the box. And he just manages to slide in there and just tap it home, if anything. Ah, oh, Gaga, I think. Guga, not Gaga. Guga, Gaga, Guga. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be a nickname. Uh, he he's managed to mix it up, but we're going to take off the Celso now. He's looking very in a very bad way. Le, uh, Lecoq's going to come on. Manolas looking a bit tired as well. I'm going to bring on Grandana uh, just to replace him, just to get a few fresh legs on. Uh, tactics wise, I might have to bring that back that three at the front formation that we loved at Manchester United. That four three three. Uh, we have got the talent in the midfield. Oh, as Fabian goes in there, there's no need for that. Is it going to be a red card? It's a second yellow, and it's a red for Fabian. Oh, that's just something you didn't want to see. We've made all three subs as well. Um, I'm going to have to drop these lads back. I'm going to have to play Mobile in that middle. Uh, I'm going to have to play him up top, actually. More of a pressing forward. Pinamonte's going to have to play in this midfield area. He's not very good at all in this midfield area. Um, I'm going to have to play him as a Mitsala attack. That's all I can do. And Lecoq's really not used to playing this sort of position either. But it's all we can do now. We're going to have to go a bit more route one. Extremely direct. Confirm the changes and get playing. It's not really gone to plan in this Roma game. They are now ahead of us in the table. AC Milan threatening to come above us as well as it's played to the near post. Uh, who's that? Who's that that cleared it then? Was it? That no, wasn't Insigne, was it? Vargas, sorry, Vargas clearing it away. Played it back to Paulo Lopez. Now has loads of time on the ball. They're looking to just slow down their sort of tempo and take their time with it now. As Kimmerman plays it back to Paul Lopez, who plays it to Pellegrini. We are sitting quite deep, actually. We might have to change that up where we sit a bit further forward, not sort of allow the pressure on us. As Sergis under plays the ball forward, and that's going to be offside. That's a definite offside there. Zaniolo offside through the middle of the park, and hopefully we can maybe nick a, a goal towards the end of this. I am going to go attacking for the last 10 minutes, purely because we are at home. I'm going to tell the lads to push. For, I'm going to tell the lads to push forward. I want to see something from them. Um, get forward, lads. I want to see some. As Vargas picks up an injury now, a lot of injuries and a lot of suspensions here. As the last ten minutes have gone flown by, and it's the ninety-fourth minute now, and that's ended. Roma one, Napoli nil. I'm not happy at all with that. I'm far from pleased with what I saw. That wasn't something 
to celebrate at all. And now we go into the game against Bayer Leverkusen where we have to win it. We have to win this game really to try and stand a chance against um, of advancing forward as Vargas picks up an injury with three to five days. So Celso as well, one to two days, not too bad. And Fabian picking up a disciplinary here, sent off in this area, is banned for one game, which isn't too bad. But I shall catch you in the Roma game as we try and advance forward a bit, for, a bit quicker in this episode. Okay, you join me now. We're at the Bayern Leverkusen game. We're just going to check the um, the group stages. So a few people have qualified. I'll go through them after this after this game. But against Leverkusen, we have to win here. This is a must-win game purely because then we go one point behind Leverkusen in the table. And then that leaves us an opportunity against Galatasaray. We are away from home, but it's, a, it's they are the weaker side here. And that means PSG can sort of do the business against Bayer Leverkusen. And hopefully, 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 they can do something with this. Um, view the group here, as you can see. They actually play... Do they play? Do they play? Where do they play? Where do they play? Where do they play? We play this game today. We've got... Oh, wait. We've got a few more games left, haven't we? We actually play Galatasaray, and then we play PSG. So, that'll be a huge, huge game. This The, the last one here. This will be huge against Paris Saint-Germain. Probably a game that we a must win for us. But, yes, we should see where we go with this anyway. Um, hopping straight into this. We are going to have to play a bit more attacking. Immobile has picked up an injury, which is... a bit of a massive downfall for us. Lecoq's going to come in, play more of a, a, a supportive role, I think. I'm going to bring in, I think I'm going to have to bring in Orsolini, just to play on the right-hand side. And Vargas has been playing much better as well than Insigne. Pinamonte is going to have to play in there today. We're going to get a camper onto the bench. Um, and other than that, we're just going to have to rock with this sort of side. But we're not looking particularly great at the moment. Vargas Picking up a bit of an injury, but he's going to play regardless because he'll be needing out there today. We're going to have to go attacking in this game, um, pick up the tempo a little bit more. I'm not going to play it out of the box. I'm going to just focus down this left and right-hand side, play it a lot wider today. And we're going to shoot on sight. We need to win this game. In fact, I'm going to counter as well. We need to win this game, distribute to the flanks. See how we can perform today. Hopefully we can get this win. This is going to be a big one for the Champions League if we want to try and maintain this run in the Champions League. If not, we might I might have to bring you some sort of like different um like address in a different way sort of thing. Um I know you know what happened last time. They want revenge big time, they want to beat Bayer Leverkusen. And hopefully we can um get our revenge if anything. So Kick off, 10 minutes in, we've not really done much here. I'm going to tell the lads to get a bit more creative. I need to see some creativity from them. As we have a throw in 15 minutes in, Guga with the ball, throws it into Orsolini, you can't get there. And Diata is running forward now. Can Koulibaly stop him? He can't. He's running through on goal. Merritt, can he stop it? He can't. And Diata has gone and just run the whole length of the pitch there. And we're, we're already 1-0 down here. Not fantastic at all. We've not been playing well in the Champions League, I've got to admit. Um, Manolas there. Is that Manolas? That is absolutely shocking by Manolas, I've got to say. don't know what he was thinking there. And he just runs through and get, puts it in the net. So, immediately we're on the back foot. We're going to have to push forward here now. Um, get stuck in. Not close down, but use the tight, tight marking. But uh, So, hopefully, we can get something from this. Is Lecoq puts it wide. Oh, no. Oh, we could have got something from that. Gulan throws it into Vargas. We're looking to attack more now. Lo Celso plays it over the top. It looks like Aaron might have fouled him in the box there. And it is a penalty. We've got a penalty here now. We've got a penalty. Pinamonte. Can he tuck it away for us? He can. Bottom left-hand corner. The attacking, pushing forward is worked brilliantly, if anything. I didn't expect it to have that much difference. But obviously, we're just playing negative football. Um... Something, something to maybe build on it, if anything. As we now 21 minutes in, Deme with the ball in now to, for them. Merritt comes forward. He can't punch it away. That was very poor by Merritt there, sort of putting us at risk. Hopefully, we can get this goal, another goal coming forward now. We are looking a lot stronger. I'm going to demand more from the lads, see what we can get from them. Uh, they're looking incredibly focused now. Uh, as well as that, we have Insigne on the bench who can, we can sort of bring on if we need to. That'll be brilliant for us. As Diata on the edge of the box, Guga gets it off him. Now, Retsos on the ball. 
Pinamonte, can he close down the goalkeeper, put a bit of pressure on him? We are looking to perhaps get something from this game as Twan Zabi actually plays for them. That's an interesting one. As they play it out to Benson Kerr, another very good player, an incredibly good player that they've brought in there. And Bolo on the on the wing now. Back to Benson Kerr, looking a bit uh, shaky here. As maybe we can perhaps pressure put more pressure on them. As we do, Lecoq picks it up now. He's strong goal. Can he get his first goal for the club? He can't. He cannot finish there. I'm going to have to train his shooting because that was very poor from Lecoq there. Incredibly poor. I thought he might have been through on goal there and done something with it. He's been playing a pretty good game so far as well. And he just doesn't manage to capitalise on that one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Very disappointing there. But we're going to the half-time. We're looking pretty good, passionate-wise. Um, I know you're keen to avenge them. Uh, there's a lot more to come from you. Um, the, the midfield's been pretty good at the moment, I think, so far. And then looking to get something from them. Fabian and Lo probably need to put their ideas up. But other than that, the midfield is the front three anyway of the midfield. They've been playing very well indeed. Coiter on the ball now. Lo Celso picks it up. Pinamonte strong goal. Can he supply a finish for us? And it just goes past the post. It's a great save. Oh, we're playing pretty well here now. We're getting a few clear-cut chances. Manolas picks it up on the edge of the box. Back out to Gulam. Can he find a cross? He can't. And that's the end of the highlight. 52 minutes played now. Gulam. This is going to have to be a two-match a two episode. Lo Celso picks it up in the midfield. Pinamonte to Lo Celso. We're playing very good at attacking football now. Lo Celso on the edge of the box. And here's another save. Oh, we're playing really, really well. Vargas I might have to bring off because I don't want to risk him getting injured. But Fabian picks up the ball now. Can he play a pass? He can't. And it's a free kick. It's a, not a direct free kick, but it's a free kick nonetheless. And we don't take anything from it. Oh, he's picking up here now. Team Yenraj on the ball. I know him from previous football managers being very good. Koita bringing it into the box. Diata, Koita and Koita's put it in the back of the net. Oh, it's not going to plan now. It's not going to plan. We were dominating for the past few minutes and then all of a sudden a throw in and we've just we've just taken our foot off the gas, if anything. Koita runs it into the box. I don't know what he's doing there. Um... I think it's Guga and Merritt just not not picking up. He shouldn't be getting beat at his front post there. I'm going to make a sub now. Vargas is coming off. I'm going to bring on Insigne just to maybe pick up a bit there. Gulam is going to come off. I'm going to bring on Muru. Um, just someone maybe a bit more reliable. As we we need to push forward now. We need to we need to we need something from this game big time. Um, I'm going to have to go a bit more direct here now. Playing it wide, shoot on sight, in transition. We're going to have to distribute it long. 67 minutes played. Hopefully we can get something from this. We're not looking great at all, though. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Get creative. I want to see something. Come on. We're going to make another substitute now. We're going to bring on Saka for Orsolini on that right-hand side. Maybe a bit more pace will be something that we can um, counter on. A, a draw is... Something we definitely need here. Come on, boys. Let's see what you can do. 88th minute now. It's not looking like we're going to get anything from this. They're just holding on. 83rd minute, and it looks like we might be out of the Champions League here. A very disappointing run there. A very... A, a, point it aside, we've just been hit by two fluke goals, if anything. Not something that we can really do anything about. As we've root... We've had a difficult run in the Champions League, but we are knocked out now. A bit of a disappointing run there. So, in terms of schedule, I think the next episode what I'll do is I'll bring you the Juventus game and the AC Milan game. No point playing the PSG game, obviously. Um, but yeah, I shall, I shall bring you those two games, sort of split over the Galatasaray game. Um, something that doesn't really matter anymore. But yeah, Juventus, sadly, we've... We sort of lost the form that we were we had running into this episode. Um, the Serie A we lost against AS Rome is sort of something that we, we should be probably winning against if we want to get those top four spots. And then Bayern Munich, uh, Bayern Leverkusen, sorry, just beating us at home as well. That is a really bad result, really. Um, but yes, sadly not going through. Now we can focus on the Serie A. Hopefully, hopefully picking up a few points against Juventus in this next game. So I shall see you in the next episode. If you did like the video, leave a like. I'm hoping to bring these out a bit more um, 
frequently now and I shall as well as that subscribe so you can see uh, when we drop these new videos so yeah um, I hope you did enjoy and I shall see you in the next episode ciao